On Wednesday, April 27th, the Allen B. LeVan NSU Broward Center of Innovation held its grand opening. The LeVan Center's new tech and workspaces are projected to help entrepreneurs and the public. Young students that come here, you have so many students, you come from all over, you're South Florida, you come from other areas, you think of this great idea, and then all of a sudden you say, I need to be in Austin, Boston, uh, Silicon Valley, New York, the Research Triangle. No, you don't. You can be right here in Broward County. We have what it takes. So these are gonna be things where students like you, where young people like you, where young inventors, innovators are gonna come up with ideas and you're gonna be able to sell them to the world. During the pandemic, most NSU students had to branch out and find new paths to a new normal. NSU is at the forefront of innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. Innovation leads to the creation of new technologies, which leads to the creation of new companies or entrepreneurship. So in order to do that and, and to be able to help businesses and create economic development, we leverage innovation and technology, meaning emerging technologies. One of the ways the center has the potential to change the community is through their technology virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, volumetric capture studio, which we're building shortly uh, in the next couple months. Uh, we have a makerspace or technology focused makerspace where we have robots, 3D printers, 3D scanners. We also have a dedicated media production studio with a green background, so a green room, and a blue background and a black background and all the tech that is needed to create uh, podcasts, webcasts, videos, any type of promotional material to help entrepreneurs as well. And then we also have a cyber range. Uh, the cyber range is, is a special place. It's a black box, meaning that it's off of the NSU network and it's off of the Levant Center network. It's, it has its own data room and server in the back of the room where we're able to replicate industry and government's networks to an extent and uh, simulate cyber attacks or tabletop exercises to upscale their cybersecurity strategies. It is this type of environment that can propel young entrepreneurs. Most of the people sitting out in that room today had no idea what artificial intelligence is. You do. They didn't know what crypto is. You guys do. The students do. They didn't know what virtual reality is. You guys do. None of those guys have Oculus game headphones. You guys have them. So I think you guys are gonna be the ones that are gonna bring this to the next level. Through the Division of Student Affairs, College of Undergrad Studies, and Dr. Brad Williams, the Innovation Center created a student ambassador program. So all four of them are entrepreneurs in the making, if you will. Two of them in the health professions, the other two in a business uh, environment. And so we try to you know, personalize their experiences and what they do and the tasks that we give them. And then of course, um, come back and understand, you know, where was the learning or where was the, the opportunity to learn in each one of those tasks. There are two ways individuals can have access to the space. Each membership option gives access to the space in different levels of access, right? So depending on what your needs are as an entrepreneur, you would get access to a reserved office or a reserved desk or during nights and weekends. It really depends on where you are as an entrepreneur. The other way an individual can gain access to the space is through their programs. Currently, entrepreneurs can apply for free. These programs are made to help entrepreneurs at any stage of their founder's journey. From the idea to expanding globally, these programs are Ideate, Incubate, Accelerate, and Post Accelerate. We provide a physical space and a physical network where people can meet with each other and connect with each other and maybe you know connect with other entities and organizations that they wouldn't otherwise be connecting with in their day-to-day -day lives somewhere else. However, there are other ways NSU students can be involved. So we are hiring two uh, federal work study positions currently at NSU. Um, we're creating a graduate assistantship for community engagement, which is what I do. And um, we're in, in the works or in conversations with creating other internship opportunities for our media production studio and then for our makerspace and eventually for a cyber range as well.
innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship all located on the fifth floor of the Alvin Sherman Library. I was able to tour the Innovation Center before it was even open and when they were just in the construction. So when I was touring, I had to wear a hard hat and go through everything before it was even furnished. So seeing it all come nicely together today is just a dream come true. Paulina Riojas, SUTV reporting.